recently. Something that has kind of been like a little wonky this month for us has actually been math, you guys. Oh my gosh. Hi, you guys. My name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I will be giving you my November homeschooling update. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, I'm Brittany. I'm a homeschooling mom to three girls ages 10, 4, and 2, and I'm in my third year of homeschool. So you guys, um, I just really want to talk all about November, just the ups and downs that I have had in our homeschool. I can definitely say that November has been the most difficult month for me personally uh, throughout this year, and um, we're just going to go ahead and chat about it. So you guys, I do have some notes in here on my phone because I do not want to miss out on any of these highlights um i really want to make sure that i remember everything and i do touch on um just all the stuff i want to talk about uh so first and foremost i will be going ahead and giving you guys a mini life update because I feel like uh, this life update really impacted like our homeschool for the month of November. So you guys, um, I had to have actually a dental procedure. Um, I had to have an extraction done and um, we had a lot of doctor's appointments uh, really centered around me because I was just having a lot of dental issues this month. Um, being an adult, <laughs> um, not taking care of myself properly. Um, but anyway, now that that's all sorted out, I really can say um, having those dental procedures, it really slowed us down in the month of November. Um, even in my YouTubing plans that I had to show you guys uh, more of inside of our homeschool, um, all of those plans that I had really went on the back burner uh, this month. And I really had to uh, be okay with that. Um, I really learned this month that I really was doing too much. Um, me being incapable of doing all the things that I wanted to do after having my dental procedures, um, it really showed me that I was doing too much in my homeschool and I really was able to recenter this month and focus on what I really wanted in my homeschool. I was really able to simplify. Uh, while my planner was not as jammed packed and we didn't get done to, or we didn't do all the things that I wanted to do uh, academic wise, I really feel like um, I was able to bond more with my girls. Um, I really feel like I was putting other things in the forefront, like us doing more art this month, um, us reading more. I was really putting those things in the forefront of our homeschool this month because um, I was unable to do all the other things and that it really uh recentered me and it refocused me in what I really want in my homeschool and I really hope that I can take this trend moving forward I know we are uh, going into our like holiday schedule um and we are preparing to end off our first semester which I'm so proud of us I'm so proud of me and my girls you guys I really cannot believe how fast this semester did go by um if you do want to know like my dis my December homeschooling plans and what I do have for us to do in a month of December I did already make a video of my December homeschooling plans and I will link it for you guys uh, down below in my description box and I'll put it in the iCards if you do want to see our December homeschooling plans. But I'm really taking a step back in December and I'm really recentering re myself and I'm really uh, going to re-reflect on what I want from my homeschool and hopefully I can pass on this simplification of our homeschool in the month of January. Um, so yeah, so that is like my life update, my, <laughs> uh, you know, woo-ha moment of the month. Um, so you guys, what else I have here on my phone? Um, what is it? Okay. So you guys, I guess I will go ahead and talk about um, our book highlights and kind of start off from there. So I'm going to share with you uh, some of the books that Brielle is reading and has finished. Brielle finished this book right here called Like Magic, and she really, really enjoyed this book right here. You guys, Brielle has been reading so many books. I really need to get her and sit her down so she can kind of do a book review for you guys really soon because she has been like eating up a lot of her like fun, independent reading books. And so far, she has said all of them has been really, really great. So she finished Like Magic. The book she is reading right now is actually called The Sweetest Sound. And it says, uh, for 10-year-old Candace, this jolly birthdays are a constant reminder of all that has changed since her mother left town with dreams of becoming a singing star Candace inherit that musical soul she can't deny it but otherwise she couldn't be more different she's shy as can be 
She did make a promise to herself last year that she would try to break out of her shell just a little. But when a secret recording of her singing leaks and catches the attention of the whole church, she decided she needs to decide what's better. Deceiving everyone by pretending it belongs to someone else or finally stepping into the spotlight. It says, in a story filled with whimsy and hope, music and joy, Sherry Winston inspires readers to embrace their voice within. So... This book right here so far, you guys, after every chapter, Brielle is coming to me and telling me all the things she is enjoying about it. I really feel like she is relating with Candace in this book because um, if you guys don't know, Brielle is pretty shy. She's an introvert. Um, I'm really trying to uh, just get her out there and help her open up her shell, especially as we are uh, going to like more homeschooling events and she's able to like meet more homeschoolers. And really, um, I'm trying to help her as far as her introvertedness. But um, as she is reading more books like this and it's characters that um, she can relate to that is working on breaking outside of, outside of their shell. I believe it's really helping Brielle as well. Um, I don't have a problem with her being an introvert. Um, I think that's probably where like her creativity comes in as far as like her loving to write and journal and things like that. Um, those are definitely like more introverted uh, characteristics and I think that's why she enjoys doing those things but um, she is getting better as far as like getting out there and socializing especially as we have been prioritizing socialization in our homeschool. Um, I'm sidetracking you guys. <laughs> but as far as Brielle's assigned um, assigned independent reader she is doing. She is working on a history independent assigned reader which is Pedro's journal and she or Pedro's journal yes and she said so far she doesn't mind this book. It's pretty good. I'm really happy she has read this book, especially uh, since we are still on the beginning parts of our history curriculum of River of Voices. And we have been talking about um, the journey of the Mayflower. And it's really connecting uh, the history that we're learning with this historical fiction. And I'm really enjoying giving her um, an assigned reader and then also allowing her to have a fun reader as well. And um, it's really beefing up our uh, reading goals in our homeschool. After she finishes Pedro's journal, which she's pretty close to finishing, she's going to be reading Pocahontas and the Stranger. This is going to be her next independent assigned reader. So you guys, some of our book highlights that we have really enjoyed uh, this month, especially in our history curriculum, has been The Children of the Longhouse. You guys, this was such a great story. We listened to it on Audible and we really, really enjoyed this. Um, this was one of our longer read-alouds in A River of Voices and we really, really enjoyed this one this month, uh, Children of the Longhouse. Another book highlight from A River of Voices that Brielle really enjoyed was uh, Squanto's Journey. Um, you guys, I actually already posted Posted a do a lesson of a river of voices on my channel and I showed us doing a lesson where we read Squanto's journey and we got up to like some fun projects and things like that so if you haven't checked out us doing a lesson of a river of voices by Blossom and Root and you want to know more about that history curriculum uh, you can definitely check out that video. Now, as far as curriculum highlights, um, I'm not going to talk about every single piece of curriculum, you guys, just because um, at the end of December, I will be making my mid-year curriculum update where I will be going over all of the curriculum we have used for the first semester. I will talk about the pros and the cons, and I also will be letting you guys know some of the curriculum that will not be coming with us in January. Yes, I am going to be dumping a few pieces of curriculum uh, really to simplify our homeschool. Um, but <laughs> I will be making that video for you guys and I cannot wait to do my mid-year update. I love making those videos. Um, but in today's video, you guys, I'm just going to highlight um, some of the curriculum we have finished, some of the curriculum that we have been struggling with, <laughs> and uh, just those in between. So I'm going to actually start off, you guys, with my two-year-old because she is definitely enjoying being a part of our homeschool. She really tags along with my four-year-old, um, Leia. Uh, when she is doing her schoolwork, she's just like inadvertently listening and learning. And I kind of like her being around, especially when I am doing Leia's lessons. But by herself, she has been really enjoying this my first learning folder and I seen this folder from uh, Dina from Pursuing Peace. She used this toddler folder with her kiddos and I printed this off from Etsy and I made this little uh, flip book where it has um, all these different like interactive Velcro pages like this one right here you guys is Alana's name. 
and she can kind of take it off and I asked her how to spell her name how old she is and I have a picture of her right here and it has like all of these different interactive pages she loves this page where it talks about the baby and how the baby is feeling so we're going over like emotions and here goes her shapes and colors and this book you guys it just goes on and on with all of like the velcro um, pages and she really really enjoys when I sit down with her and I work with her on this learning folder sometimes my oldest daughter Brielle works with Alana too so she doesn't feel left out so this is definitely been a highlight for my two-year-old now as far as leg goes you guys my four-year-old um you're going to be so happy about her she actually finished this a little bit earlier than expected but we have finished preschool math at home by Kate Snow you guys I absolutely loved this curriculum like when I tell you love my daughter's math skills from finishing this book is ridiculous. Um, she is able to subitize where she can look at numbers one through five and instead of counting them, she automatically knows, oh, that's one, that's two, that's five, that's six. And she has learned so, so, so much from this book. Like I'm definitely doing this book with my two year old when she is ready. Um, it was really simple activities for me to incorporate and just her math skills from the beginning of the book to when we finished it. It just has blown my mind and how easy it was to incorporate like in our actual flow our daily life um it wasn't any worksheet or this book right here is not worksheet based so she wasn't sitting down doing worksheets she was really using her hands to learn math and i think that's uh really really uh important especially as the kiddos are so young um not to do so many worksheets, but to allow them to learn different skills by using their hands. So we really thoroughly enjoyed preschool math at home. And when I make my mid-year curriculum review, I think I'm gonna separate the video. So I will have one for Leia's uh, curriculum that we've used. And then I also will separate it for Brielle. So um, we finished this. So now you guys, we actually started this week kindergarten math with confidence by kate snow and you guys i am so in love again with this curriculum it really follows a similar flow to the preschool uh, math at home uh, the only difference is is now we have uh book selections that we can read different math books at the end of the week um we do still utilize a lot of hands-on learning and i really really love that the meat of this curriculum is really in the teacher's guide not necessarily the student workbook but so far she has been enjoying both of them we are only two lessons in on week one but it's been going so well and I'm so happy I went ahead and I started this I was going to like wait until January you guys to start her off with kindergarten math with confidence but she was ready and I'm so happy I went ahead and did it because she's really really enjoying that so that is like Leia and Alana's highlights my two and my four year old as far as their curriculum now let's go ahead and get into Brielle so Brielle you guys she has finished uh fix it grammar town mouse and country mouse and i'm so 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 proud of her for finishing off another fix it grammar book we really really love fix it grammar easy short sweet grammar lessons and they're effective and um it's been going great as far as IEW, her writing curriculum, uh, structure and style. We are actually um, finishing up week 12. So we are actually at the halfway point of IEW. So in December, we're not going to be doing IEW. We will pick up back or we will pick back up IEW in January. So I'm really happy Burrell's going to get like this little break <laughs> away from IEW and we can kind of like really uh, be more laid back. IEW, you guys, the writing curriculum, it's great, but it's pretty structured. I mean, she is writing a paper every single week and she really has to come in here and narrow it down and she really has to work hard when she's writing these papers she's doing great writing is her strong point um i am noticing with it being such a structured form of writing um she is learning more skills brielle is used to doing creative and free writes and things like this so it's really taking her outside of her comfort zone in her writing which i'm really really happy about um but it's so great hearing her papers you guys I read her first paper from IEW Structure and Style until like her paper, her 11th paper, because we're still in week 12 right now. Um, the difference is like mind blowing as far as like her work. So I'm really, really happy about IEW. I did film a week of IEW. If you guys want to see like an inside look of how we actually complete a full week of IEW. Uh, but that program, it's great. I love it. Um, now something that has... It's surprising, but not necessarily. Something that has kind of been like a little wonky this month for us has actually been math, you guys. Oh my gosh. Like I 
absolutely i love saxon you guys like i will say it and i will shout it <laughs> to the mountaintops like how much i love saxon math um one of our main problems that we were ha or we was having this month you guys was the amount of time that it was taking brielle on math you guys one day i'm not gonna kid you brielle was working on saxon for two hours and I think it's really just at this level of math where they're doing all these multi-step problems uh, that's taking longer. She is like one level ahead or one level next to uh, the level where she will be using a calculator uh, because this is the level before pre-algebra um, in Saxon. So I know that this level is probably going to be pretty intense. Other than that, you guys, she is doing great as far as, you know, understanding the concepts and the problems and things like that. She doesn't have any problems as far as the new material she's learning. It's just I'm finding that math is just taking so long. One thing that I did add uh, that has been kind of helping us when it has come to math is that I have now told my daughter to put a timer on. So we put a timer on when she starts math for an hour and 15 minutes. And whether she has completed the lesson or not, um, she's finished with math that day. And I really think by putting that timer on for Brielle, it's really motivating her and it's showing her that whether she completes a lesson or not, um, she still is, you know, going to have an end point when it comes to math. Um, so yeah, that has really been helping out as far as math goes. We are not going as fast as I would like us to go in this book, but she's still doing really, really well. And I am just going to continue to do it like that. I mean, um, I'd rather her understand the concepts and we take our time than for me to try to rush her to do a lesson a day. If it's not possible, if we can't get it done in our time slot, then it's just going to roll over to the next day. And I think that that's really helping us simplify our homeschool. So you guys, as far as Nicole the math lady, we are still utilizing the video lessons. Some of the lessons Brielle actually is not watching Nicole the math lady. She is just reading them on her own because she's used to the format of Saxon and she's doing really, really well. Sometimes she picks up the lessons or watches the Nicole the math lady lessons if she feels like she needs it. Um, but so far, she's really uh, using this program, um, how it's designed by her reading it and learning the material independently. I did add on Nicole the math lady's grading because I was finding like it was taking so much on or, or pressure on me to make sure that I was grading every single one of her assignments and now that we've added the Nicole the math ladies online grading it really has taken a lot of pressure off of me it's allowing me to be able to focus on my uh, younger two a lot more and it's really giving Brielle a sense of independence uh, with Saxon before when we were grading and checking her work I was going over it right away but because she's using the Nicole the math ladies online grading if she sees she got a problem wrong she then will work on it herself so it's really creating more independence for her her and it's allowing her to work through those problems. Now, if she does need help, she will come to me. But for the most part, uh, Brielle is really checking her own work and figuring out where she missed those problems. So here is like a little course summary of the Nicole the Math Ladies grading system. And it's so cool because now I, I will have something at the end of our uh, year to print off her records. It, it's even keeping score of like all of her lesson practice, her mental math, her uh, mixed practice and her test, which is really, really cool. So um, I really have been enjoying the Nicole the Math Lays online grading. You guys, don't worry. I will do a lesson of Saxon math showing you guys uh, Brielle using Saxon, Nicole the Math Lady, and how we are still making this curriculum work out for us in our homeschool. So you guys, that is my November update. That is everything that has happened for us in the month of November. Uh, things didn't go as planned, but you know, in this month, it really has taught me what life and homeschool looks when they're combined together and uh <laughs> it was crazy but i'm so happy for the experiences that i had this month because it really taught me the things that i need to shift within my homeschool so you guys let me know how your homeschool has gone in the month of november is it good is it bad are you ready for your um <laughs> the holidays are you ready to be done <laughs> with the books <laughs> for the year let me know in the comment section down below Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.